Hello, good afternoon. As always, I'm Ben. Thank you as always for supporting, watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting. It's all appreciated. It goes a long way for keeping me interested in doing this. So um, if I'm entertaining you in the process, then that's great. I, I'm glad I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the save, so I'm glad you're enjoying it too. So where you left us off last, we, we lost to Grenoble and then we won in the French Cup. And then we lost a 1-0 and then we beat Road 5-2 to finish the episode, last episode. So that was enjoyable. You've got probably five games today, starting with the French Cup. We're playing a team called Porte Lizane Heracle. So yeah, so hopefully we'll, we'll, well, we'll, we will be playing some youngsters in this game. So you'll see some debuts again. Hopefully some good displays by the youth players. We'll try and push for a playoff place if possible, but... We can't see, we're struggling to hit consistency, so I'm not going to expect miracles with that one. But yeah, anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the first part of the episode. Right, so here we are. We've got some debuts in this one, haven't we? So we've got uh, a debut for Riel, who I think, I don't think he's played for us yet. No, played a couple of games the reserves. So he's a very talented young prospect goalkeeper, only 16 years old. He'll be making his debut. We've got, I think, Mustachik, I can't pronounce his name though. Albin Mustafif, he's played before. I know he's played before, actually. Played a couple of games last year in the Cup, so... But he's he's in the team. Patricio is in the team. And then we've got this talented young player. Up to £4.9 million transfer fee we could probably get for him. But obviously, whether that works out is a different story. But only 16 years old, so the fact that he's rated at 4.9 transfer value, that will only go up. He is a wing-back, a left wing-back, but he can also play in centre defence, which is where he's playing today. And then we've got Jack. Is that how you pronounce his name? Kud He was the one that, that had the previous record for the youngest player before. I can't remember who. It was only a couple. It wasn't Fabry because he, well, who was it now? Anyway, so he was the previous record breaker for the youngest appearance, youngest player to appear in the team. Can't get words out today. I'm sorry. We've got a player called Tio, who I don't think he played last year. No, he didn't. Very talented player. Potential value of 1.7 million at the moment, but obviously that could go up. He's driven as well, so he's determined to succeed in this game. He is a defensive midfielder, central midfielder, so he'll be him and Tete will be very good backups for Drame and and then we've got Demba. I don't think he's played yet for us, no. So Jason Demba, 18 years old, quite talented young player, playing on the right wing, and Fabre's playing, and then we've got another debut. I don't I don't think he's played for us before. But he's doing quite well for the reserves. So we're playing him today. And the Nabo. I, I think the G is silent. I don't think it's good Nabo. But then again, I've been burnt on that before because somebody made me think that you had to say Tsunami as to, to Tsunami. I did a whole video on it. If you don't believe me, check my YouTube ch channel. Type in Tsunami. The whole Rick Marole and me getting joked around by my friend the whole time. I thought they were being deadly serious about the fact that you have to pronounce Tsunami with a T. And then, and then after a while, they made me realise that, no, we, they were just having a joke at my expense. So, uh, bloody hell, that was quick. We've already got a highlight. Two minutes into the game. Denver with the corner. Nabo might not be playing for very long in this game because of the fact he's he's knackered already by the looks of it. We'll let him play at least the first half. But yeah, Tsunami, not too Tsunami. To Tsunami. I literally was there for about an hour going, to Tsunami, to Tsunami. I think everybody was laughing their head off. It was definitely a Twitch stream highlight. Good goal there by Nabo. Yeah, I will be doing Twitch again at some point. Probably won't be in the immediate future. It takes up time on my day that I, I need to spend on doing stuff for my YouTube. I will get back to doing Twitch, but I don't think it'll be TW 2020. It's, it's very difficult to stream it and record videos for it. So I'll be probably doing Football Manager content on Twitch. I just need to figure out what type of save I'm going to be doing. But it won't be for a few months yet. I'm just not, just not. I just... I have I don't have much time as it is because I've got a puppy to look after. I've got my friends. I have to try I try and see my family, and then obviously I've got my YouTube stuff, which believe it or not does take a lot of time to do. So because it's not just the football manager stuff I'm doing. I'm doing TW Twenty Twenty stuff. Good goal by Mustafa there. Great header. I'm doing wrestling quiz stuff as well. So it all takes time to sort out, and I just think also Twitch is just 
like I, I like chatting to people on there and stuff like that but i need i'm trying to get really good at youtube because i want to get monetized because i want to make money i want to do i want to make money doing content creation i don't mind what it is i prefer doing stuff that i like so at the moment i'm doing stuff that i like but i am looking into doing automated stuff using ai editors for like other stuff that's that's popular and making content for that to get my subscribers up watch hours up on that but like i said it's a mission and once i'm determined to do something i'll do it it was the same with my ebay business for uh, nobody nobody thought i was going to be able to do it i managed to do it i managed to make a success successful business from it for about two years before it all went pear-shaped but it wasn't necessarily my fault it went pear-shaped it was a combination of the economy the combination of ebay being greedy and not being good to their sellers Good goal there by Bayota. I think he just I think he come on for has he come on for oh I don't know. Nabo. So Nabo had to come. Yeah, and then like combination of like I said, eBay being greedy and the economy just being down the toilet and just not me not having the money to keep constantly buying new stock all the time and getting good stock at a good price. That's the the, the joy out of doing it was gone because the charity shops put their prices up because obviously that you know, rightly so they're gonna try and make the most money they can for the charity. Even though a lot of these charity shops, most of the money goes to paying the managers. It, a lot, you'd be surprised how little percentage of the money they make goes to the cause that they're trying to do it for. It's a glorified high street shop, basically a charity shop. Now it's just a big con. So my girlfriend, she works for a medical center that deals helps people with drug recovery, and I've donated a lot of my clothes to their recovery center so they give it to the clothes direct to their service they call them service users but we call them people who are unfortunately addicted to drugs and they get the clothes because obviously a lot of them are probably homeless as well and i know it's warming up at the moment but you know we've had a very very cold winter we didn't have the nicest of spring so far so it all helps and at least then i feel like well at least the clothes have gone to a good cause instead of going to making the charity shop managers more money but yeah so that's that really but like i said once i've got my mind set on something i'll do it anyway i've had a little rant there paid no attention to this game whatsoever so i apologize <laughs> sometimes i will just go off on a tangent oh uh, yeah it's the problem you have when you're doing youtube videos and you're talking to yourself but yeah good good performance here just gonna see if i can take any players off not really got anybody to put on i'll just leave it i think let it play out now but yeah great performance by our young players again he's gonna be a talented player for us i think every time he's played he's just like the last two games he's played he played really well granted we are playing against not very good opposition but doing well All right send him on holiday for a week rest him from training yep you have done very well. I think I might need to offer you a new contract. Only 16 years old as well. Gives me high hopes for the future with him. Right, in a sec, you'll see me playing Angus. So we're back. And we, after the same last episode, that we I don't think will break the record for youngest player appearance, we managed to do it again. So Bertrand Paisley's appearance at the age of 16 years on one day for Socho away at Hortot. In the Coupe de France is a new team record. So uh, he's <laughs> beating the record that Andre, poor Andre Riviere, he made history. And then within a couple of weeks, he's he's had it taken away from him. But yeah, he's a very good player in the making. He is, oh, his value's gone down though. He's gone down from 4.9 million to 2.9, but I don't know if that'll be, I do have him for up for loan. So I don't know whether that's made any difference to it. I listed him as up for loan. Anyway, right. So we are now playing Angers. We're currently 10th. So they are close to us they are like actually that yeah they are what only one point behind us if we win this game we'll get a little bit closer to seven we just got to keep winning and hope for the best really at this point we can get on a good little run now and uh, get up the league a bit but if we lose we're back down to square one in, in the league so pretty much unchanged from the last league game by the looks of it so let's just crack on i think what i might do is might promote paisley to the first team if i if boris ends up going because obviously we need to promote some central defenders into the first team if we get rid of fontaine and boris in january because obviously we're not going to replace them by going to the transfer market we always look to promote from within anyway angers start the game oh that was a bit of skill there by homer i can't fault that goal that was a good goal a bit of skill by Homer to get past our player. 1 0 to Angers, who are now leapt up and now ninth, and we're back down to 10th. Right, throw into us, see what we can do from this. Will this lead to a goal? Bizarre, bombs ahead. Beautiful cross. Shame it didn't go near any of our players. Oh, right, so 2 0 down. Jan Valery, 
former Southampton right back. I think he played for Arsenal, didn't he? I know Cedric and I, Cedric Soros. Yeah, he played for Southampton. He came from their youth system. I didn't realise that. He was one point very highly rated. Valerie still got plenty of time ahead of him. Could still have a good career in football. Hopefully, his highlights for us. We have kicked off straight away, so I'm. I'm hoping, oh, that was a great ball. Go on, Passard. I'm looking by Kofi. That's better, though. We need to be more clinical with our finishing. All right, hopefully, we will get a goal quite quickly in the second half, and then we might have a chance of getting a draw out of this. Kofi. Oh, that was unlucky. I think that was offside anyway. We're getting there, slowly but surely, in this game. Who do we just take off? Oh, OK. Galvez had to come off. Right, Fatar's not playing very well, so he can come off, and we'll put on... Oh, great. We haven't got anybody to come on. Dossu, have we got anybody that we can put him on for him? No. Great. So, Fontaine we can take off there. At least there's that. Put Boris on. Right, let's try firing up players. Let's see how that works. Good. We've intercepted the ball there. Kofi, is he going to go for goal here? Oh, that was a... Come on, Kofi. Oh, we can't make any more subs now. So, uh, that's that. Nothing we can do now other than just accept the fee. Free kick to us. Viltard, are we going to get a consolation goal here? Mm, that was a rubbish free kick. What was the point in that? Hit the post twice now. Twice in this game, we would have been 2 2 up. Sorry, we would have been 2 2. We've been very unlucky in this game. We've been the better team when you look at the stats as well. That's the frustrating thing about it. Oh my god, we've the post three times this game. Absolutely ridiculous. We we should have won this. Oh, I'm angry now. I'm not happy about this. Oh, that is ridiculous. How unlucky is that? All right, see you in a sec. All right, so. We've had a few injuries, Kofi being the main one. So we've had to, basically, I just called up everybody from the under-21s and 19s because for some reason we had Tete, who's a defensive midfielder, up front. So we were lacking the firepower up front. So Nabo is having another start in a, in a league game this time. We've got usual goalkeeper and defence and midfield. He's on the right because we've also got, I can't remember who else is injured, but our usual, I think it's Dossu who's injured. He's injured. He's not 100%, so we won't be able to play the whole game as well. So, yeah, so we'll just have to see. And then on the subs bench, yeah, we've got mostly defenders. I don't think there's any attacking players in this. Is he an attacking player? He's a midfielder, I suppose. Central midfielder, another central midfielder. In fact, I'm going to take off Harry and I'm going to put on. I'll try and find an attacking. Is Izanga? Where's Izanga? Is he here? I'm going very slowly and I can't see him. No. Okay, we'll just keep it as it is. Right. If it comes down to it, we'll just have to take a striker off and put a defend a defender in there and just put the defender in defence. Depending on how we're doing one way or another, if we're winning, at least that way we can control our lead and hopefully guarantee a win. But yeah, we're currently 10th. So we win this game, we might go back up to 8th. We'll see. Oh, we're 11th now. Nothing so far. We've had two shots, two and goal, but a 0.06 XG. So that tells me that they weren't worth worrying about them shots. Good defending there. See if we can do break here. Carl Zenti gets tackled there. Lose possession of the ball. Ajacio, who were uh, who beat us last game last time they played us, I think. They were top of the league when they played us. Yeah, a bit of a boring game for the neutrals. Right, already knackered. We haven't got anybody to put on for him. So I'll just wait for the first half to finish, I think, before I figure out what I'm doing there. Might have to change my formation. What's going on here? Oh, okay. He's forced, <laughs> he's been forced off the pitch. I have to play him. Viltard with the free kick. Ooh. Right, let's figure things out. Tete is not a striker. He can't play as a striker. So we're going to have to play one striker now for the rest of this game. We'll put him in here. Swap him with Viltard, I think. And then him here. So that is our new formation <laughs> for the rest of this game. Forced on us because of the injuries that we have at the moment. We've been a bit unlucky with injuries this in the last couple of games we're not making excuses though but yeah nil nil still at least we're not losing i say that and then i'll probably jinx us now to carzenti get in yes carzenti with his first goal of the season right real tiles injured now so oh great we haven't got a defensive midfielder right bear with us real tired we'll put you we'll put teddy over there put real tired in here and then swap in for boris in fact i'll just do this now do that, like that. protect the lead oh, for god's sake galvez is injured now Oh, we can't take more players off. we just got to make do now. Still 1-0 though to us. We have been the better team as well by the looks of it. Nine shots, three on target. 0.76 XG. They've had more possession. There we go. Nice little win. Pizarre's out for four, seven days. Thierry makes his professional debut. Bloody hell, he looks like a right good player. He does. Who's he after? He's after... No, you can bugger off. You're not having it. You're not having him. Let me sign him a new contract. Hopefully that will keep the, the clubs away from him. Right, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we are now playing a JCO in the Coupe de France. So you know what that means. Picking youth prospects. We got in goal again. Patricio is right back and Samasa centre defence. Silver is left back. Ty and Thierry in midfield. Carzenti and Fabier on the wings. 
and then Nabo and up front. So quite a good team considering. Uh, let's see how it goes. Also, Fontaine and Boris have gone. Fontaine is, I think he's he's gone as well. He was meant to go first of January, so should be okay. It's all right. Baxter's trying to get back up here. Sorry. Anyway, hello Baxter. Yes, hello. Oh yeah. So basically, central defenders are gone. And now we've got to replace them with players from the U team. So Mustafi would probably be one of them because he's twenty. Is he eighteen or nineteen? I think he might be twenty now. Oh, eighteen. So he's old enough that he's probably ready for first team football. I think he's good enough as well. So hopefully he'll probably be the replacement. And that Silver's going as well. He we've had his contract's expiring in the summer. We've decided that he's not good enough. So we'd rather just get rid of him now. I'm struggling to concentrate on this game because of the dog. Right. So we're one nil down. Player of the year. I'm trying. I've signed a new contract with. So I request a new contract. They granted my request. Managed to oh, two nil down. Managed to get the board to agree to upgrading the training facilities. So the work started on that. So that's a good sign for the future. Hopefully it will help our young players get better. Right, Patricio now. Beautiful cross. If he was playing, he probably would have buried that. Silver now. Is he going to... Oh, I thought that was going in there. Right, corner. Can we get something out of this now? Can we get back in this game? I can't think of anything else that's happened in between the game. We didn't have a game for about 15, 16 days, so quite a bit's happened. But yeah, it's first, uh, I think it's like the 2nd of January in the game now, so we probably will be getting off the suppliers that we don't particularly want to sell as well, so we're preparing ourselves for that. Nabo with the pass back to Patricio. Patricio with the shot, massively over. I'm just going to get these lots of focus. None of them are playing well, but... It's not, it's only the defense. Oh no, it's a few of the, a few of the other players actually. I should have just done focus on everybody. But I feel like that was a bit unfair if I did that to everybody when they've been playing well as well. Thierry to Patrice, beautiful first time cross. Get Nabo with his ninth goal of the season, but I think the first senior goal for us. I know he has scored before, he scored in the last French Cup game. See, Nabo could be another player I could call up to the first team. I think Isanga's better though. Because Isanga's not playing particularly well in this game. Right, have we got a slight chance of getting back in this game now? Probably not. Right, they've got a corner. Let's see if we can counter-attack from this. Once we get possession, hopefully, if we do. This might be the nail in the coffin. It is the nail in the coffin. Flammarion. Oh, is it disallowed? It's disallowed. Oh, there's no VAR in the French Cup. So that's good. I'm hoping for a defensive mistake here. Didn't happen. Right, Ajaccio in possession. I think it's AJ, so maybe I've got that wrong. Is it? Yeah, AJ, so yeah. Oh, well, that's it. That's done. That's us out of the uh, cup for one for another season. Right, let's see who else. Let's see who we can give a debut to. So let's give Kikutu some game time. Let's leave it as that for now. Terry's knackered, so we'll put on George to make his debut for us. I don't think he's played for us before. I feel like the score is very unfair on us. I think we, we should have got at least another goal in this game. I should have done better than that. Oh, well. Not the best way to end the episode on, but... You know, it is what it is. At least our young players got a bit of first team football and they will continue to because obviously we're, we're getting rid of a few players. So some of the young players will step up. He looks like a right good player in the making. He does. Right, let's have a look. Oh, we've got two games left. Ignore me. For some reason, in my head, I thought we'd already finished the episode. So yeah, so back in a second with the next part of the episode. So we're back. Silver's out the door. We've got rid of him. In fact, let me just go through transfers before we start the next game. Transfer history, players out. And yeah, so we're, uh, that's that. And then we've got and must playing in centre defence today. Let me have a look and see who we've got central defenders wise. So we go here. We've got quite a few in the first team, so that's not too bad. We've, we're more than covered. The Agni's probably not back from fitness yet. But we've got a few on the subs bench as well. So we're more than covered for central defenders. Let me just see how we're doing. We're doing all right for doing all right for right backs as well. So yeah, we'll be all right. And obviously we've got players from the youth team and the reserves we can call up as well. So uh, yeah, so here's the lineup. We've got Popov in goal. As I said earlier, Mustafi and Grillot in the centre defence. We've got Langley. Sorry, I think he's making his debut today because we've got a few. Oh, because Silver, we sold Silver and I think we've got well, our main left back is now, but yeah, so he's playing as left back, and Tete and Mendes to silver in midfield, Carzenti and Bazard on the wings, and then we've got Martin Nabo again, because obviously Kofi is out for a few weeks. Oh, he's on the subs bench, so he could probably come on at some point. But yeah, we're playing Ruin, 
now. Hopefully this is a game that we win. Currently eighth at the moment. Nine points away from the playoffs though, so I think we can kiss goodbye to the playoffs this year. Unless we go on an incredible run, which doesn't happen in this league with us at the moment. We're, we're too far away for that type of talk. Oh, 1-0. Six minutes gone. Not the best of starts, is it? Back down to ninth now. Strasbourg, Bordeaux and Lyon, as I predicted, top three teams at the moment in the league. So I see, by the looks of it, only the top team gets promoted and then you've got four teams in a playoff for the for the promotion I don't know we'll soon figure it out I think only two teams go up into league one every year I remember the premiership having like every every season it was different isn't it four teams that go up and then there was one year where there was like I think there were two teams that go up two teams I don't know what it was but yeah I think three has, it's been three consistent three teams going up and three teams going down now consistently for quite a while but yeah oh god 2-0 down well we're not going to win this game even though I said that I thought we would we're missing Kofi I think he might have to come on in a later in, in a bit hopefully we can get a goal just before half time give us a chance to get back in the game doesn't help that we've got Two central defenders making their debut as a partnership today, so and a left back who's not even played for us yet. Good ball. Oh, first time shot gets saved by the goalie. Right, Vatar with the corner. Good cross. Shane went straight to the goalkeeper's hands though. Right, I think in a bit I'm, I'm going to take off Vatar and put on Kofi. Right, injured, so I put on Kamara. Take Vatar off. But Kofi was out for two or three weeks with a flu. So he must have had COVID. Because I've never had a flu. Not even COVID. I didn't even have COVID for two or three weeks. I had long COVID and I had the COVID. Oh, nearly. I had long COVID, I had the all the symptoms for it. I never got it checked, but I know I had it because I was out of commission for about... I had the cold, the flu itself for about a week and then the after effects for about two or three weeks afterwards where you, you can barely walk anywhere without getting out of breath. It was terrible. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. I'm just glad that it's, uh, we've managed to find... We man, we, in the end, we managed to find a vaccine for it. So it killed a lot of people. That's a very cheery thing to be talking about, isn't it? Sorry, everyone, for bumming you all out. Right. We're lacking attacking players at the moment. And our subs bench, they seem to be all defensive players. Why can't we beat the teams we should be able to beat? We beat these last season. We came up as champions. I think they got up through the playoffs, and yet they've beaten us both games this season, which is really frustrating. Good defending. Come on, let's get a consolation goal. These poor away fans, they've suffered enough. Give us something to be happy about. I'm not even going to pronounce his name. Jesus Christ. For that for a name. No, no consolation goal. Just going to do what we do best. Lose. I'm a bit of a morbid, negative person if you haven't gathered. Hopefully that's your jam. If that's your jam, let me know in the comment section, okay? Right, we're not doing well this episode. We've only won one game. We lost to Angers. Oh no, we beat them in the cup, but we were expected to beat them in the cup. Right, Bastia. This is where we turn things around next game. We haven't got a game now for 12 days. So as you know, as always, I'll be back. Right, we're back with the last game of the episode. We are playing... Bastia, we've got Popov in goal, Yagni's back, we're playing, look at him, is he any good? He's pretty decent, got two-star current ability, which is good, and then potential for three and a half to four half-star potential, only 17 years old, is available for loan, so we might not have it much longer, because a lot of these players moan when you don't loan them out, even though you're playing them in the first team at times, so they'll moan, they'll be like, even though Staffi for instance, has a promise to be loaned out. And I don't know if I don't loan him out, he'll be happy. Yet I want to play him as one of my main centre backs. I hate this about football. I hate things like that about football manager. It's just, it's just stupid. But uh, yeah, Carzenti is still in the team as well, which is good. So he's getting a regular run out now. I think it's because Weisbeck's injured. We've got a corner. Viltard with the corner. Hassard has the possession of the ball. He'll cross it in. Oh, nearly. Right. Free kick to free kick to Bastia. Oh, and he got found out there. Right, Popov passes it out to Nidula. Bastion. Bazaar to Viltar. Bastia to equalise now from the free kick by the looks of it. Oh, no. Stand corrected. 1-0. Not much else has happened since that goal. But not complaining. I'll grind out a 1-0 win, uh, win. And I'll be happy with that. Good bit of passing going on there. Bazaar loses it though, unfortunately. Get it back with Galvez. Passes it to Diagni. Bit of 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two going on here. Me trying to keep possession by the looks of it. I don't mind this approach. If we keep the ball, then Bastia can't score. So there you go. And Poet didn't even know it. Oh, just over by Kofi. Still a bit rusty, I think. Dilu not playing well, unfortunately. Let's try encouraging him. Hopefully a bit of gentle encouragement will help him. That was to... Nobody. Let's see what we can do now. Can we get the ball off them? Not yet. Ah, oh, one one. I knew it was coming. All right, so it's one one. I might have to take Nadilu off. I think for his own sake. Maybe too early for him. Good cross. Oh, Carzenti with a the header. Unlucky there. All right, Diagni's not playing particularly well. Let's take him off. Let's put him on. All right, Navo's on for Kofi. Hopefully, Navo can get a late winner for us. By the looks of it, it's not happening. I really felt like we were going to win that. Oh, hold on. Let me click on that. Error is 
Oh, Roland Vieira, it was Patrick Vieira. Maybe we need to send him out on loan. Oh, we've offered him out, so he'll probably go out on loan. But anyway, right, that's the end of that. It's been a very enjoyable episode. We've not won many of these games. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we've literally won two out of the five games. One out of the five games, sorry. So, yeah, not the best of episodes. But the only way is up. We've got to stay positive. We are currently eighth in the league. I don't know how we're eighth in the league because I feel like we lose every game, yet the teams below us are just worse than us luckily but we managed to draw the last game so at least there was that we are nine points away from the playoffs we're not going to make it this year but hopefully if Strasbourg Bordeaux oh no so yeah so first and second go up automatically and then there's some reason there's three oh I think Bordeaux play in a I don't know let me have a look I think it's like a relegation playoff where the team that's going to get relegated plays the second place in the league below no rules rules yeah promoted to league one i got that wrong then so three teams in the playoffs we'll figure it out oh here you go promotion promotion semi-final quarter-final playoff league one playoff okay i think we'll just leave it i'll figure it out i'll have a look offline after this but yeah kofi tops goal scorer in the league at the moment as well which is good 13 goals sorry i'm showing this as if you as if you can see it but yeah his value's gone up to up to from 3.3 million to 4.7 million so he'll be probably out the door by the end of january or probably summertime because some club will go in from him will the chairman will accept the bid but yeah anyway thank you keep on following me keep watching me i will get better as the as time goes on we all improve as content creators the more we do it the more practice we get the better we get so just bear with us i'm determined to make a success of this i'm determined to bring entertaining content to you so yeah just i appreciate your support keep on supporting me i'll do my best to entertain you yeah and as always thank you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll be back next week all the best bye